Hello there, I'm Brett, and in celebration of Pi Day, I am going to recite 100 digits of Pi from memory. And then I'm going to teach you the trick so that you can do it too. All right, so to ensure that I am not cheating, I am going to blindfold myself with my lucky pie scarf. Now don't worry, there's only pie symbols on this, no numbers. Also, I'm gonna point out that I'm not wearing any headphones and I'm not going to cut this clip at all. Shall we give it a try? Okay. All right, I have my scarf on, so let's go ahead and recite. 3 Eight, three, two, seven, nine, five, zero, two, eight, eight, four, one, nine, seven, one, six, nine, three, nine, nine. Three, seven, five, one, zero, five, eight, two, zero, nine, seven, four, nine, four, four, five, nine. Two, three, zero, seven, eight, one, six, four, zero, six, two, eight, six, two, zero, eight, nine, nine. Eight six two eight zero three four eight two five three four two one one seven zero six seven nine. All right, Whew. that was actually a little bit more nerve wracking with the blindfold on and the camera than I thought it was going to be. But there you go, 100 digits of pi, all from memory. Now let's go ahead and teach you the trick. So that was a lot of fun reciting the first 100 digits of pi and showing off a little bit, but now I'm going to reveal the secret. So there is a trick that I was using to help me quickly memorize the first 100 digits. I was able to do it in a couple days of practice here and there. And I think that with a little practice, you can do it as well. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you how you can use a mnemonic device to memorize any string of numbers you want. So what we're going to do is we are going to assign different sounds to the digits zero through nine. And then we're going to go ahead and make silly phrases up. And that is how I recited 100 digits of pi by simply translating silly words in my head into numbers.
So the first thing that you need to know is what sounds I associated with which numbers. So let's begin with the number one. I used the T or D sound for the number one. For two, I used the N sound. For three, I used the M sound. For four, I used the R sound. For five, I used the L sound. For six, I used the SH sound. For seven, I used the K sound. For eight, I used the F or V sound. For nine, I used the P or B sound. And lastly, for zero, I used the Z or S sound. So this is really where the work goes into memorization, is getting the hang of memorizing these number sound associations. And there are a couple little things that I use to help me remember them. For the one, I remembered that the T and D kind of both have ones built in. So I just kind of visualized that. I'm a very visual person, so imagining a one inside of the T and D helped me remember. For two, I remembered that there are two downstrokes. So one, two. And every time I came across an N sound, I just imagined those two little downstrokes in my head. For three, I used a very similar memorization. I remembered that M has three downstrokes. One, two, three. So M goes with three. Or you can kind of think of M kind of looks like a three on its side. And that's kind of a helpful way to associate it in your brain. For R, I just remembered that four ends with an R sound. So four went to R. Five L. Now that one's a little trickier, but if you hold out your hand, you have five fingers and it forms an L shape. So five L. For six, the SH sound, I just kind of remember that one as it was. Seven, the K sound. You can kind of see two sevens on their sides in the letter K. So that kind of helped me remember that seven is associated with K. Eight, F or V sound, I just had to remember that one. Nine, P or B sound, I remembered that both the letters P and B kind of look like nines in different orientations, right? So P is kind of like the nine if I reflected it over the y-axis. And B is kind of like a nine that I rotated upside down. So that's how I remember that one. And then the last one, zero. Well, that one's pretty straightforward because the word zero started with a Z sound and the S and Z sound are very similar. So your first task at memorizing pi is actually just practicing memorizing the numbers associated with these sounds. Once you have these number sound associations down, you can begin making up the silly phrase that you want to use to memorize whatever string of numbers it is you need to memorize. So I made up my own silly phrases to help me memorize the first hundred digits. And I highly recommend making up your own because it's really fun. And also I think it helps you remember your phrases better because you get to get involved in the creative process. But now I'm going to reveal the silly phrases that I used and I'll translate them out for you on paper here so you can see how once you get the hang of it, you could translate them in your head and recite Pi. So this is the silly phrase that I used to help me remember the first 30 digits of pi. The grammar is terrible, it doesn't really make any sense, but it is descriptive enough that I can visualize my dear turtle Ben Shalom in my head. So let's go ahead and translate this back using our sound code. All right, so my m z three. Turtle. So t 
is a one, er, t, and then an L sound. So that's our 3.1415. Ben, so I start with a B sound, that's nine, n, two, shalom, sh, six, L, five, M, three, love, five, v, eight, pick, p, sound is nine, k, sound is seven, up, is a nine, man, m, is three, n, is two, m, is three again, v, sound is an eight, Russian, r, sound is a four, sh, six, n, two, sh, six again, r is four, meme, those are two m's, foam, we're back here to the eight, another m, an n, and then cup is the k sound, which is the same as the k sound, I should put k and the hard C sound here, so K is seven, P, nine. All right, so the silly phrase, my turtle Ben Shalom, love pickup man movie, Russian share meme, foam in a cup, is how I remembered the first 30 digits of pi. So the next silly phrase that I used was lazy nevy rat puked. Show up, mop up, make ladies all phone soap crew prior. Yes, I did come up with these on my own. They are not fantastic, I admit that. But they worked. They helped me memorize it. So let's go ahead and translate these words into the next 30 digits of pi. L is five, Z. Zero, N, two, V is eight, eight, R is a four, T is one, P is nine, K sound is seven, D is one, Sh is six, up, that's a P sound for nine, M, three, another P for nine, nine, Mm. K is a seven, ladies, five, d, one, s, zero, all, it's another L sound, f, phone is an F sound, n, s, soap is zero, and a nine, k, crew is that seven, and R is four, and then prior, p, and two R sounds. All right, let's move on to the next phrase. It covers the next 29 digits of pi. All right, our next phrase is loop on music, off to share, so shine fish nose of pop, fashion face more fun. Yep, pretty good. <laughs> okay, so let's translate it real quick. So L is a five, P is a nine, on two, music M, zero, K sound is seven, off, we get that hard F sound, two, T, now this one, threw me off a lot because sometimes when I was practicing, I noticed that when I came to the word two, I wanted to write a two, a number two, but the T sound is really a one. So when I did make mistakes, it was often on this word. So I kind of wish that I would have made a different sentence that didn't have the word two in it because it was really hard to remember to say one instead of the number two there. Share six. Four, so, zero, shine, six, two, fish, eight, six, nose, two, zero, 
of pop. Let's do P sounds. Fashion face. Even though that's a C, it makes a S sound, so it's going to be a zero. More fun. And we have one little short sentence left to give us the last 11 digits of pi. Well, not the last 11 digits of pi, but the last 11 digits of pi that I memorized, which was up to 100 digits. All right, this is a short one. Simply says, lemur nodded, okay, so shake up. And we'll translate that one really quickly. So L is five, three, four, two, nodded. That's two D sounds. One, one. Okay, seven. So shake up. So what I did was I just recited the words in my head. So I memorized these silly phrases and I recited the words in my head. And as I recited it, I translated it back into these numbers and said them out loud. So it still takes a little bit of work, but it is so much easier than just memorizing numbers that when strung together, don't really give us a fun story or a descriptive image in our head. So there you go. That's how you can memorize 100 digits of pi in a day or two with some practice.